It's Dino versus Jungle Boy Jack Perry. And now they're making an effort to remember Jr. would call it because it was a little ridiculous. Well, there's Jungle Boy. What was he found in swaddling clothes in the nest of chimpanzees on the escarpment in darkest Africa? I mean, I got the look. He looks like a Jungle Boy. He's got the loincloth. But Jr. would always say Jungle Boy Jack Perry because he's not just some random dip that was found living with the apes in the jungle. He's the son of a famous Hollywood actor. So now everybody's Jungle Boy Jack Perry. It's like Seth Franklin Rollins. That's everything is said now all in the same time. So we don't know. Do we yet know why that Dino stabbed Jungle Boy in the back to go with Christian and then pretended that he didn't, but then a week later he did. Do we have, we unraveled this mystery. What it did jungle boy take a shit in Dino's post toasties one morning. What happened between these former friends? Well, they were best friends. According to jungle boy, best friend ripped his heart out. It really did. But we have no idea what happened. We have no idea what happened. And then why it, was made out so that he faked them out the first time and then the second time he did turn on them. We don't know why they fell out. Remember, I think didn't early on Christian say, remember when I did the Marco? That was dropped. So apparently Luchasaurus yeah. knew of some devious thing that Christian could do. I don't know. I don't know why this feud exists still. Remember what I did to little Marco? Like, isn't it? We should have seen Marco floating down the river with a fucking cement overcoat or something. Apparently Christian's injury is a serious one and it's going to take time to heal. Are they going to draw out this thing with him and Luchasaurus until Christian's ready to get back in the ring? Well, I don't know because it's, it's already drawn. It, it needs to be quartered. So this match... Jungle Boy opens hot. He's feisty. Uh, Dino awkwardly tries to put himself in the right place for the overly complex shit that they're doing. And Dino continues to not work like a big giant muscle builder. He, work, he works awkwardly like a small guy trying to do his flips. Um, within, you know, pretty quick after the match starts, Dino's outside pulling a table up to ringside, which makes the people chant, we want tables. They don't want the baby face. They just want furniture. And they fought on the floor for three minutes straight. Because guess who was the referee? Rick Knox, the corpse referee. So they're on the floor for three. But did you hear what happened to Rick Knox last week? He had an incident. Oh, no. Yeah, he was... He was out minding his own business. He was taking a walk. He walked past a cemetery. Two guys ran after him with shovels. He outran them? Well, obviously, he was on television. It's fast. So they come back from a break, and they're in the ring, and immediately they go back out to the floor by the table. And they take forever on the apron, teasing, falling through the table. And then Jungle Boy just runs and uh, Dino's on the apron hanging on by the skin of his chinny chin chin and jungle boy runs across the ring, does a sunset flip over Dino outside and gives him a power bomb off the apron through the table to the floor. What a fucking bump. And it looked like it killed him and it got a big pop. And I'm thinking, well, okay, they're going to put the kid over. This is a count out. And Jungle Boy get back in. The big goof won't. And we've prolonged this somehow. And it actually is reasonable, the way they've done this, that he could win this. And as soon as I said that, Jungle Boy rolls Dino back in the ring. <laughs> the guy that's 100 pounds bigger than he is, he rolls this dead guy back in the ring and gets in the ring himself. And. <sighs> At that point, he does a fucking Undertaker sit-up, Dino Douche does, and he's back up on his feet and back on offense, and he's 100%, and they're continuing a match. I said, well, this fucking guy is even shittier than I thought he was. So at that point, I couldn't wait for this to be over, so I fast-forwarded about three minutes, and at that point, I see Jungle Boy Jack Perry give Dino a reverse Hurricane Rana 
the stupid move they do that it's a hurricane rana but he's going backwards so it defies the laws of gravity and and anatomy and risk breaking your neck both of them and i'll be a son of a bitch if dino didn't land straight on his head on top of jungle boy and then <laughs> he hit another finish before he even covered the fucking guy and got a two count these guys never went to any kind of accredited wrestling school i've established that or they just don't listen and then after all that and trying to build jungle boy up as somebody dino choke slams him off the top rope what a fucking bump again then picked him up and hit another finish on him that looked half as good as that and then beat him flat one two three instead of giving him an out instead of i don't know it protecting him in any way i'm not talking physically i'm talking professionally he just choke slams him off the top and then picks him up and gives him another finish and beats him flat one two three and that's 20 minutes into the show now your thoughts when he powered back up that's what i thought i'm like wow they're gonna really try to get jungle boy with his new name jack perry over tonight he's not only gonna beat luchasaurus he's gonna do it after he gets back up from something that should have finished off anyone again someone won a match with a superplex on nxt this week ladies and gentlemen and then no he just beat jungle boy <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why um, it went on for a long time. When you said you fast forward to three minutes, I was like, oh, Jim's being unreasonable. But then I remembered it went past, I think, a couple of commercial breaks, didn't it? It I, went on for a while. It, it, was, it was 20 minutes into the show by the time that we were done with that. And it seemed longer because it's Luchasaurus and he can't work. He has no concept of what the fuck he's doing. And if he's in with a little small guy that his job is to beat the shit out of him he gets over but to have any kind of match with anybody on a competitive basis he's an idiot who do you think Speaking will win a match luchasaurus versus brian cage oh good god that would be some kind of matter and antimatter collision <laughs> wouldn't it <laughs> matter and antimatter it'd be the Where, greatest, you know, greatest junior heavyweight match that neither guy's a junior heavyweight <laughs> Like Bullet Bob Armstrong used to say, it's a case of mind over matter, because I don't mind and you don't matter. All righty. Uh, Private Party and Matt Hardy were in the back arguing with Stokely and the other page and another guy. I don't know what it, I can't remember who he was. He's one of the assistants. He was in a suit. I just burped off microphone. <laughs> so then... <laughs> QT Marshall's in the ring with you, Tomarato wait, and Solo. Did you hear what the stipulation was that they set up in that promo? No, I can't. I I couldn't. I, the, Matt's yelling and other. What What's the deal? What's happening? They're still wasting TV time on this. They haven't learned yet that people don't want to see any of this. They don't want to see Matt Hardy, especially like this. Perhaps if you decided to take it by chance and use Jeff again, but I don't think you could use Matt anymore. The stipulation is now that Private Party wants to be back with him, I guess because Andrade can't be there, Jose the assistant has somehow finagled a deal so that they've been sold to Stokely Hathaway in the firm. What? And now Ethan Page wants to wrestle Matt Hardy, and if Ethan Page wins, Matt Hardy has to join the firm. But if he loses, I believe Matt Hardy gets control of Private Party once again. They gave TV time to this. They this so, is why isn't this on Rampage? The promo itself. <sighs> the firm. He's radioactive. Radioactive. I'm surprised you didn't pop on that one. <laughs> 